guys, I'm Kelly. Welcome to Freedom in a Budget. If you are new here, welcome. My channel is all about getting healthy on a budget and living well on a budget. And budgets are not constricting, they are not you know, holding on to your money. No, budgets are freeing. And so that is what my channel is all about. And I'm also losing weight on a budget. I am shredding for the post wedding. So if that interests you, go down, hit that subscribe button and stick around for a while. So guys, I'm so excited to be hosting this collab. This is so much fun to get together with some of my favorite, favorite ladies. And like I said, if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Kelly, I am a newlywed. I am gonna put up some pictures for you guys of the wedding and we're just, we're having so much fun in newlywed life and just kinda, you know, living the life and getting used to weight loss thing on, you know, married life. And we, or at least I, really shredded for the wedding and I really worked hard to lose some weight for my wedding and my wedding dress and I did a really great job of it. I lost over 20 pounds but then the honeymoon came and all the showers before the wedding and I put on over 10 pounds and it's slowly coming off but it's a struggle. So I thought you know what all right let's get back to the basics. What are some of the tools that I used originally to lose that weight? What can I do again now to get rid of this weight and then get down to my goal? And so I thought it'd be great to get these ladies together give all of our tips for you guys and just share of what you know what we are doing to lose weight and our favorite tips so first one is i'm sorry my cat just just rubbed against my foot um first one is fitbit so i have the fitbit alta if you guys haven't seen piper just wants to say hi um here's mr piper here um so i have the fitbit alta and it is amazing. I love it, love it, love it. I've had it for over two, two years now. I used to have the Flex, and the Alta is just great. It does all the steps, it does, uh, doesn't do the heart rate, does the miles, the calories, um, the active minutes, and you can even get text notifications on it, you can get voice calls on it, it's awesome. So I will have an affiliate link down below for all of these products. And I also did a full review on the Fitbit, so I'll have that linked down below as well. But just knowing where your inner steps of like, oh, I've been just hanging around the house and I only have 1200 steps. We need to go to the park. We need to do something because I'm being lazy. Whereas otherwise you're like, it's just a lazy Saturday. It's okay. With the Fitbit, it's like, no, I want to get my butt in gear. Or you see you're at like 8,000 steps. And you're like, you know what? Let's go for a quick run. I want to get my 10,000. So it really pushes you to get to that next goal. Next one, I don't know if it's just me, but water bottle with a straw. So the straw really helps me get um, more water in and it really helps me just to, I don't know, drink more and I drink faster. I don't know what it is, but the straw, I drink more water. I used to always have a water bottle with me. People used to make fun of, oh, there's Kelly and her water bottle. And I really got out of that habit and I'm really trying to get back in the habit of always having a water bottle with me so that I'm always um, staying hydrated and I have no excuse. You know, I'm out running errands. Like this is what I drank from running errands out with my husband this morning. So it's not a lot, but it's more than if I had just left it at home. So hey, I'll take it. All right, next one is extra workout clothes in the car. And I always now have workout clothes ready. That way if someone says, hey, I'm going to the gym, you wanna join me? Or hey, let's go to the park. I'm ready, I'm ready to go. It's not, oh, I don't have any clothes. I have to go home and then by the time I go home, I don't want to anymore. Or I have a gym at work and so I can just go after work there or before work. Workout clothes are always, always ready. Next, measuring tape. You need to know where you're at, where you came from. Um, this is a great way to measure your progress. Sometimes the scale is not our friend and sometimes the scale is not, you know, encouraging always. And you may be holding on to some weight, but if you look, you lost an inch and a half in your stomach. That's awesome. That's progress. So this is a great tool, just an alternative way to measure your success, which is so good. All right, now going along with that is old clothes. I like to keep a pair of old jeans to see how far I've come. When I put them on and they're like swimming on me, that's motivating. That's saying, Kelly, let's not get back there. See how far you've come. See how much progress you've made. It's, it's an incredible, incredible um, motivator. Now, 
With that though, I don't keep all of my old clothes because I don't want the excuse of, oh, I can just fit back in them. It's kind of, it's fine. I can put on a couple of pounds. I have plenty of clothes in my wardrobe. Nah, no, 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 I don't do that. And next one is I always have a gold jeans in the closet, gold pair of jeans. So I have them hanging up where those are the jeans that I want to fit back into. I have a size four jean in my closet that I fit in when Jamie and I first started dating, which was three and a half years ago. And so I cannot wait to get back into those jeans. And those are my, my goal jeans that I wanna get back into. Next one is brushing your teeth. So this may sound weird, and yes, personal hygiene, brushing your teeth is awesome. But I do it sometimes when I get home or after dinner right away before going to bed. Yeah, I would brush my teeth before bed, but sometimes right after dinner, I'll brush my teeth because that way you're not sitting in front of the TV or this, I want a snack. Snack would be so awesome right now. No, I have like minty breath. I don't want like food, like that's gross. So if you brush your teeth or have gum, then it really takes that urge to eat anything away because of the mint flavor. And lastly, a kitchen scale. Guys, I was always opposed to kitchen scales because I always thought like drug dealers were the only ones that used them. Yeah, and then I was introduced to Weight Watchers. And I love this thing. My biggest um, time that I use it is spaghetti. So I always kind of like pinched a little bit of spaghetti and that's what I used to use. And then I weighed it. It was like four and a half ounces that I usually used to eat on a regular basis. Guess what a serving size of the spaghetti is? Two ounces. I was eating over double a serving size and thought it was perfectly normal. Yeah, now I measure out a, um, Spaghetti. Now I do eat more than a serving, I eat one and a half servings of spaghetti because two ounces just doesn't fill me. So I eat three ounces of dry spaghetti here. And so it is super easy. You can change the unit to grams, ounces, whatever you want, which is awesome. And it's so convenient, guys. I love this thing. So I will link this down below as well. I got it on Amazon. I think it was like eight bucks. It was super cheap, guys. So that is my weight loss tools. Please, please, please let me know your favorite tools for weight loss down below. Or if there was a tool that surprised you, let me know that as well. Don't forget to check out all the other ladies in this collab. I will have them linked down below in the description box. And if you're coming over from the collab, welcome. And I hope you hit that subscribe button and stick around. All right, guys, I will talk to you later. Bye.